in the White House is a mortal, not a god. The members of the Congress, they are mortals, not God. Bowing down is not an option. We will stand up again, we will march again, we will preach again, we will organize again. We are black, we are white, we are Latino, we are Native American, we are Democrat, we are Republican, we are independent, we are people of faith, we are people not of faith. We are natives and immigrants. We are business leaders and workers and unemployed. We are doctors and the uninsured. We are gay, we are straight, we are students, we are parents, we are retirees. We are America and we are here and we ain't going nowhere. An artist's duty, as far as I'm concerned, is to reflect the times. I think that is true of painters, sculptors, poets, musicians. As far as I'm concerned, it's their choice, but I choose to reflect the times and situations in which I find myself. That, to me, is my duty. And at this crucial time in our lives, when everything is so desperate, when every day is a matter of survival, I don't think you can help but be involved. Young people know this. That's why they're so involved in politics. We will shape and mold this country, or it will not be molded and shaped at all anymore. So, I don't think you have a choice. How can you be an artist and not reflect the times? That, to me, is the definition of an artist. These are the words of the incomparable Miss Nina Simone. Peace and light to you and thank you so much for joining us for the More Arts Unleashed concert. I'm Yara Allen, co-director along with Sharon Rebar of Theo Musicology and Movement Arts with the Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival, and director of Theo Musicology and Cultural Arts with Repairers of the Breach. And tonight, tonight you will experience a beautiful gathering of amazing movement artists and friends of the movement who've come together to do just what Miss Nina Simone suggested as the duty of artists, to reflect the times in which they live. Now, we do this in the tradition of artists who've come before us, artists who understood the power of their platforms, artists who were not afraid to speak truth to power, and sing truth to power. They understood the arts as a powerful tool for change. These were artists like Nina Simone, Billie Holiday, Aretha Franklin, uh, Bernice Regan, um, Joan Baez, Mavis Staples, Helen Reddy, the list goes on and on. Paul Robeson, uh, Marvin Gaye, Bob Dylan, Curtis Mayfield, Peter Yarrow, Pete Seeger, it just goes on and on. And we thank those artists for being brave and being bold enough to speak truth to power. Now, finally, there is a, an African proverb that says, until the lion learns to write, the story will always favor the hunter. We've come to write tonight. We have come to write a narrative that says, Everybody in, nobody out. We've come to write a narrative that says everybody's got a right to live. We have come to write a narrative that says we're strong together, y'all. We are strong together, whether in the street or at the ballot box. Enjoy the concert. Now, before we get into the music, we're going to have greetings from one of our co-chairs. Please help me welcome the Reverend Dr. William J. Barber II. Dr. Barber. 
Hello, my friends. That was Yara Allen, our theomusicologist, our national theomusicologist. And she was lifting up the words of Nina Simone. And she's right. Tonight, you're going to hear from artists who are activists all across this country who are using the sound and the rhythm and the art of their work to draw us into the movement, to inspire us in the movement, to keep us holding on and pressing on in the movement. I want you to know particularly as a preacher, I'm standing here in the chapel of Rankin Chapel of Howard University, and I'm reminded that, that in scripture, uh, there is a text that actually says that the prophet can't preach right until the minstrel comes. It says that the minstrel, the music of faith, the music of movement, the music of justice is essential to the declaration of prophetic truth. Um, I'm also mindful that the prophets were great artists. Jesus was a great artist. If you listen at the imagery and the stories he told and the imagery of the mustard seed, the imagery of mountains speaking and the rivers roaring, uh, everywhere you look, there is rhythm, there's art. Even the, the, the earth, uh, someone says, spins at a certain rhythm and with a certain beat. And so tonight, we ask you to join the beat of justice and the ry ry rhythm of righteousness. We ask you to join your voices in lifting up liberation. We ask you to clap your hands in the chorus of those who care. We ask you to beat your drums and defy the death of our times. We ask you to sound the brass instruments because you still believe in jubilee injustice and the possibility of us caring for all people. I'm so thankful that the Theomusicology Department of Repairs of the Breach and the Poor People's Campaign has called for this night, has called for this season. And I'm glad that all of these artists, spoken word, voice, musicians, people who can draw, do poetry, have all joined in from all kinds of places that we might be one band and one sound because we believe in one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So let the music begin. Let the musicians play. Let the sound of prophetic justice be heard throughout the land. God bless you. God bless you. It is time, not just for the waking, but for the rising. We are in one of those moments that demand a poor people's campaign. Our brothers and sisters are sleeping on the streets. For a country this rich to have so many people poor, it's immoral and it's wrong. When we throw away more food than it takes to feed every person, not just that's hungry in this country, but around the world, that is not right. Something is wrong. That is a moral emergency, and that's why we need a poor people's campaign. There's other systems here that are oppressing us that voting won't always fix. And that we've got to talk about, we've got to call it out, and we've got to mobilize and build a movement to be able to change these things that our politicians won't always change. But if you don't recognize us, and then it goes back to that second chapter that we're the forgotten ones. Until we are ready to keep this fight going. Because it's crucial that we make ourselves heard. Let the people vote! Yeah. That's how you honor veterans. When you hold down the poor, you hold down America. Our backs are against the wall, and we got no choice but to push. We are building a multiracial, intergenerational, nonviolent army of the poor that will break every chain. Every chain. And so we have to come to a point that every attack on the poor will embolden our agitation. Every attack on sick folk will embolden our agitation. Every attack on immigrants will embolden our agitation. We can do more, we can do better, and we're building the power. Forward together. It's movement time. It's time to shake this nation, because this nation is locked up. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Get up tomorrow and start the revolution.
96 remember the time 46 and his face on the ground Out the ring when she took eight rounds Sometimes I wish that I could press pause on in life But I'm really down Tell me time, tell me hours Rest in power to the king to Charlie hey. in a great depression is it locked down of the mind and vessel is it the end of the world are we retrogressing all the aliens coming should i grab a weapon and stand down when you block your blessing i'ma run down the town just to drop a message from the top of the western towers so the world can read it as the midnight gospel they sell me love sell me peace i ain't never been a killer but i slay the peace sell me hope sell me dreams you can't sell me back my freedom it belongs to me yeah. woke up this morning with
no peace, no justice, no peace. My name is Reverend Dr. Liz Theo Harris. I'm the director of the Cairo Center for Religions, Rights, and Social Justice at Union Theological Seminary and the co-chair of the Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival. I want to thank everyone for joining us, and I want to thank especially the artists who have made this evening possible. We in need, indeed need to unleash the arts. We need to unleash our votes, and we need to unleash a movement powerful enough to make the power structures of this nation say yes, when all they've been doing is saying no to us for a long time. We live in a country where there are 140 million people who are poor or one fire, one storm, one healthcare crisis, one job loss away from deep poverty. And yet as a nation, we throw away more food than it takes not just to feed everyone in this country, but across the world. And we have more abandoned housing units than we do homeless people. We're living in a time and a pandemic where, where billionaires are profiting off of, of poverty, of loss, of healthcare crisis, and yet the poor are being left to fend for ourselves. But it doesn't have to be this way. We know from history when those most impacted by injustice band together, fuse together, unite together across all the lines that divide us, we can build a powerful movement. And we know that we must use our voice we must use our vote in that movement. We have fewer voting rights today than we did 54 years ago, despite the fact that people have fought and died to give us those rights. If our voting power wasn't powerful, they wouldn't be trying to steal our votes. And so we are here to say that we are gonna make our voices heard. Somebody's been hurting our people as Ms. Yara Allen has written, and it's gone on for far too long we won't be silent anymore. We know also from history that when we build this powerful movement, it won't just be decorated by powerful art and culture, but that our shifting narrative, making our stories heard, doing away with the stereotypes and misconceptions of, of who is poor and why we're poor needs to be battled out in the cultural arena, amongst theomusicologists, amongst cultural workers, amongst artists of every stripe. And so we are gathered here to unleash our power. We know that poor and low-income people have the power to shift the entire political landscape of this country. That when poor and low-income voters turn out in massive numbers around an agenda, an agenda that speaks for healthcare and living wages, an agenda that lifts up education and immigrant rights, an agenda that says no to mass incarceration and the militarization of our communities, and yes to peace and love and truth and healthcare, that we can shift this whole nation. We can lift from the bottom and everybody can rise. And so I ask you all this evening to, to make sure that you're mobilizing and organizing, registering and educating people for a movement that votes. I'm asking you all this evening that we rise up and we vote together and we keep on pushing this election season because we have been silent for far too long, but we aren't going to be anymore. Everybody has a right to live and we're going to unite and we're going to organize, and we're going to build that power, and we're going to be able to be a new and unsettling force and be able to change this country for the better for everyone. Thank you so much. Let's do it, man. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we're doing a, a record, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's, a, uh, it's in dedication to, um, there's a cemetery called Moses Cemetery up in Bethesda. It's being dug up right now. It's a, it's an African-American cemetery.
I'll be back some old day, I'm going away. I'll be back some old day, I'm going away. Please don't move where I lay. I work so hard all this life. Don't know the sin that gave me this life. But now I lay down, cause God gave me the right. I'm going away. I'll be back some on day. I'm going away. I'll be back some on day. I'm going away. No reason to move where I lay. Lord, please let them have easy lives. Right now, I, I'm going away. I'll be back some old day. I'm going away. I'll be back some old day. I'm going away. Please don't move where I lay. Some on day, I'm going away. I'll be back some on day. I'm going away. Please don't move where I lay. If they wake me, let me rise. If they shake me, I'll shake all their lies. Maybe they'll know then that we raise the tide. I'm going away, I'll be back some on day, I'm going away, I'll be back some on day, when I come back, you won't know my face, you won't know my face, you won't know my face, you won't know my face. Folks, you know, there's not enough folks that know about it. Everybody protesting a bit. I'm trying to do some videos to just draw some attention to it a bit more. Um, the developers trying to build on it, man. So it's just like they're trying to dig up the body. Yeah. yeah, they're trying to say that there's not bodies there when the community is just like, yeah, we used to play in the cemetery right there. Uh, one, there's like three plots that we're really fighting for right now. One of them, there are they're digging through. They they desecrated the site basically, and we're just trying to get them to stop. And there's two other sites. So Moses Cemetery, uh, if you check out the Bethesda African Cemetery code. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Just, just here you, to man. let you know, man. All right, appreciate it. Have a good one, bro. God bless. I'm waiting by the mailbox. I say check is coming soon. I'm struggling 
Hello, is anybody home? This is a national call for moral revival. We are campaigning poor people's survival. We are baptizing them in the holiest of waters. We are putting our laws in order of the land. United we stand or divided will fall. The evils of systematic racism affects us all, especially those in poverty. And poverty tastes all too familiar to me. It tastes like stomach pains and hunger cramps because food stamps only come once a month and once upon a time we got a stimulus check but the last time I checked each month we were burying our babies because the war of the economy don't want to save them this nightmare it's on my street as I hear the screams of a mother's defeat mixed with stray bullets tears and drive-bys bloodshed sirens gun blasts and the cries of our at-risk youth funeral homes are more than happy to assist you and gentrification is pall barriers that see our value waiting to raise the property value because they don't mind bearing our children along with our culture these vultures fly above high rises on the arise as they build landscapes on top of sidewalk graves for those that couldn't escape memorials are replaced with wealthy new neighbors, neighboring the ecological devastation that affects our nation. And it is distorted morality that is the new reality. And it seems like we're on a reality show, but the power, it's in our vote. This is the will of misfortune, not voting put our lives in jeopardy. The price we paid made it right. Who wants to be a millionaire if you're not providing adequate health care? Don't press your luck by passing the book because fear is not a factor because whose line is this our country is now ran by an apprentice and this is as real as it gets too much is on the line because when the family feud we lose every time so go out there and vote no matter how you feel don't let them take your power deal or no deal This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This here voice of mine is for singing songs of freedom. This here voice of mine is for singing songs of freedom. This here voice of mine is for singing songs of freedom. Sing them loud, sing them loud, sing them loud. These here hands of mine are for voting tyrants out. These here hands of mine are for voting tyrants out. These here hands of mine are for voting tyrants out. So vote them out, vote them out, vote them out. These here feet of mine march me to the polling station. These here feet of mine march me to the polling station. These here feet of mine march me to the polling station. Here I go. Shine, let it shine. 
see this here voice of mine is for singing songs of freedom. This here voice of mine is for singing songs of freedom. This here voice of mine is for singing songs of freedom. Sing along, sing along, sing along. Vote them out, vote them out, vote them out. Vote them tyrants out, vote them out, vote them out. See, here you go, here you go, here I go. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. This is the color of the day. I'm tired of seeing from a sheltered place. Who am I to speak? I've never known your song, so I'll turn the other cheek. The world I can say Use my voice if you wish But I've never known my place Hands up, do not shoot No justice, no peace No luxury, no loot The world is flame. The victims and the bullies burn to grey
We will stand up again. We will march again. We will preach again. We will organize again. We are black. We are white. We are Latino. We are Native American. We are Democrat. We are Republican. We are independent. We are people of faith. We are people not of faith. We are natives and immigrants. We are business leaders and workers and unemployed. We are doctors and the uninsured. We are gay. We are straight. We are students. We are parents. We are retirees. We are America. And we're here, and we ain't going nowhere. Yeah, right about now, I think we can use some feel-good music. A good dose of feel-good music will be right on time in these times. has been so real for so many of us. I know personally firsthand what it has meant 
COVID-19 came through and swept through my family. I lost my grandmother to COVID-19. I watched my mother, I watched my aunt struggle through COVID-19. I know these times have not been easy for us, but in the midst of the struggle, and in the midst of the pain, in the midst of all that is going on, we have to hold true to what we know. And that is we as the people have power. We have the power to move. We have the power to vote. We have the power to change what is happening today in our nation. I know so many people are tired. I know we are weary. I know we are frustrated, but together we can absolutely change what is happening day in and day out in our nation. So I encourage you, I encourage us all to tap into the depths of our souls, to the depths of the pain, to the depths of those things that have shaken us and to draw strength from that and to go out and vote, to go out and make a difference, to go out and do more. I know it isn't easy, but this is what the moment calls for. This is what this movement calls for. This is what we can do to honor the lives of those who have been lost during this devastating time. Reverend Janelle is so right when we think about these moments that we're in. And right now and right here, I want you to hear two songs. One of them is Be Blessed. And the other one is Use Me, Lord. And in our faith tradition, we can sing both of them. Both the call for the Lord to bless and keep us, but then also an understanding that the Lord keeps us for purpose. And that purpose is to serve the cause of justice and the cause of love. Come on and join with us now in this time of singing some of the great gospel, the great music of faith. Hey! 
my land be a land where liberty is crowned with no false patriotic wreath but opportunity is real and life is free equality is in the air we breathe there's never been equality for me nor freedom in this homeland of the free Say, who are you that mumbles in the dark? And who are you that draws your veil across the stars? I am the poor white, fooled and pushed apart. I am the Negro bearing slavery's scars. I am the red man driven from the land. I'm the immigrant clutching the hope I seek 
and finding only the same old stupid plan of dog eat dog of mighty crush the weak. I am the young man full of strength and hope tangled in that ancient endless chain of profit, power, gain of grab the land of grab the gold, of grab the ways of satisfying need, of work the men, of take the pay, of owning everything for one's own greed. I am the farmer, bondsman to the soil. I am the worker sold to the machine. I'm the Negro servant to you all. I am the people, humble, hungry, mean, Hungry yet today, despite the dream. Beaten yet today. Oh, pioneers, I am the man who never got ahead. The poorest worker battered down through the years. And yet I am the one who dreamed our basic dream. In the old world, while still a serf of kings, who dreamt the dream so strong, so brave, so true, that even yet its mighty daring sing. And every brick and every stone in every furrow turn that's made America the land it has become. Oh, I'm the man who sailed those early seas in search of, of what I meant to be my home for I'm the one who left Dark Island shore and Poland's plain and England's grassy lee and I'm the one, I'm the one that was torn from black Africa's strand I came to build a homeland of the free the free who said the free, who said the free not me Surely not me. The millions on relief today? You think they say free? The millions shot down when we strike? You think they say free? The millions who have nothing for our pay? Really? You think they say free? Listen, for all the dreams we've dreamed and all the songs we've sung and all the hopes we've held and all the flags we've hung, the millions who have nothing for our pay except the dream that's almost dead today. What we say is, oh, let America be America again. The land that never has been yet and yet must be. The land where every man is free the land that's mines, the poor man, the Indians, the Negroes, me, me who made America, me whose sweat and blood, whose faith and pain, me whose hand at the foundry, whose plow in the rain. We must bring back our mighty dream again. Sure, call me any ugly name you choose, but the steel of freedom does not stain from those who live like leeches on the people's lives, we, we, we must take back our land again. America, oh yes, oh yes, I say it plain. America never was America to me. And yet I swear this oath, America will be. How out of the rack and ruin of our gangster death, out of the rape and the rot of graft and stealth and lies, out of this, we the people must redeem the land, the mines, the plants, the rivers, the mountains, and the endless plain, all the stretch of these great green states and we must make America, America again, again, make it again. 
until it is America again, America where the poor are lifted. Let's make America again, America where you are loved regardless of who you love. Let's make America, America again, America where we deal with the final vestiges of racism in every form and fashion. Let's make America, America again, where immigrants are welcome, not only from Europe, but from Mexico and other brown and black countries. Let's make America, America again, where those who have the ability to be cared for when they are sick, do not push a sick agenda and keep others from having that same assurance and insurance as well. We must make America, America again, where we're not killing our country and our land and poisoning the rest of the world just the same. We must make America again, again, because the military might and the money is too much. It's killing us. Our priorities are more in bombs than building. Let us make America again, no more the lies that we can be by ourselves, some false exceptionalism and nationalism and white evangelicalism and religious nativism. It will not work, it has not worked. Let us make America again, again, living wages, clean water, clean air, clean land. Let's make America again, again where corporations are not treated like people and people are treated like things. No, let's make America, America again, where people are treated like creations of God and lifted and cared for and not pushed down and suppressed. Let's make America again, 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 until every vote is counted and matters and means something. Let us make America again. Sure, America has never been fully America to us, but let's make America, America again. Again. For well, that's what they did. At every turn, despite its failures, they kept having revival and revolution and restoration and making America again. And now it is time for us not make America great again with some false kind of greatness where greatness is measured only by the greedy and the wealthy, but let's make America, America again until she hears that what matters only for a nation is when I was hungry. Did you feed me when I was naked? Did you clothe me when I was sick? Did you care about me when I was in prison? Did you release me when I was an immigrant? Did you welcome me? For inasmuch as you treat the least of these, you've done it unto the Creator, the Creator's self. It's time to make America, America again. Hey y'all, this is Elliot Smith with the Poor People's Campaign, and I just want to say that as millennials, we have power to create change. We have lived through endless wars, ecological devastation ravaging our communities due to senseless and greedy corporate polluters, a recession and economic depression throughout our lifetimes, a pandemic that has altered our way of life, and systemic racism that have had lasting disparities when it comes to healthcare, infrastructure, education, mistreatment of our immigrant brothers and sisters, and the killing of innocent black and brown men and women at the hands of law enforcement. Our time is now, our moment is now, and we are mobilizing other youth, young adults, students, and advocates to vote not, a, not in a particular party or a particular candidate, but around a moral agenda to heal America and heal this nation. When living wages are on the line, when affordable housing is on the line, when reproductive rights for women are on the line, when addressing climate change is on the line, when protecting our vote is on the line, and when healthcare is on the line, as millennials, we have the power to create change and make a difference. We will not be silent anymore. 
and we are rising up to vote. Voting is power unleashed. Hi, everyone. My name is Reina Sokolov Gonzalez. It's such an honor to be a part of this Justice Jubilee. Um, I believe so deeply in what the Poor People's Campaign is doing. And um, I'm just honored to be able to contribute in some small way. This first song is called The Movement, which I wrote maybe two months ago um, during this time. Really just um, opening my eyes and seeing, right? As artists, we are vessels, we are witnesses, we are, um, we are storytellers. So, yeah, thank you. Yesterday the news called a riot Call it what they want, try and hide the truth People in the street occupying Calling off the heat, calling on the youth This is the moment, this is the movement Keep holding focus, keep what you're doing This is the moment, this is the movement Keep moving forward, keep moving through it. Yesterday the news showed another video that proves an intent to kill. Now we need to stand for each other. Now we must demand no more blood to spill. This is the moment, this is the movement. Keep holding focus, keep what you're doing. write a poem on the ballot because I know that our poetry is magic and we can overcome hate and transform the states and the right wing never gonna have it. So I'm gonna write a poem on the ballot. Let me scribe similes, it'll change policy like a wave on the sea, we moving. And now I'm gonna write like a dog in the fight, like a God given light, we proving that we can undo a curse with the vote like a verse because our people come first, we love you. So with a whole 16 for a whole new dream till our people can't breathe, we rising. We about to dance on the ballot because we beautiful, period, valid. We gonna vote and organize folks till we mobilize hope to decolonize and close the camps. We gonna vote for the people who can't and build up power beyond elections, dignity, respect, permanent protection. Ain't nothing can stop this movement. My people, I know we could do this. It's time to write a poem on the ballot and heal ourselves and the planet. Everybody, Everybody. it's got a right. Everybody, Everybody. it's got a right. Melody in the footsteps of the people. 
rising up in the rhythm of dignity and courage. When I see you, I suddenly believe liberation can flourish. And generosity and humility will save us. And we will use the love our mamas gave us to decolonize the skies above us with praise. Learning from the bravest, the beautiful, nameless creators of a world newly awakened. We on fire and blazing our way out the matrix. Guided by a single mother's hand holding her family together. We already on the other side of never. Where the aunties brewing tea and sipping sweetness from the south to the north. We are here to remind those in D.C. who they working for. That's right, beloved. This song is Freedom Uncovered. Everybody. Selma marched for them. What the riots from Stonewall to Ferguson to Minneapolis fought for. A movement of people who poor in dollars but rich in brilliance. We are the millions. The healers who come to heal. The leaders who come to reveal that the right to live means you've been had the right to feel what you feel. The right to live means an end to police violence and the passage of the Green New Deal. The right to live is in the wind and every day we witness in our children's countless talents. The right to live is harmonizing in the voice of Yara Allen. It is the springtime and you can feel the right to live about to bloom. Growing out the organizing of comrades like Sierra and Sharon and Claudia de la Cruz. Esto es el momento de pararnos como madres orgullosas y sonreír Porque no hay nada más esencial que el derecho de vivir The right to live is a simple truth to return us to ourselves It is a spell being cast upon a lost and divided nation To heal the wounds of hate and incarceration with a love So bold, it includes everybody Feel that, everybody And when you fight for those rights They become the lights for us to follow through these long dark nights This is a promise to be radically honest And declare we are worthy of food to eat and housing to sleep in And schools to dream in and just being human beings We are worthy of love And so the poor people's campaign has come To bring our freedom into being You will know we've arrived because you will hear us sing The tides, the tides that rise, the tides that have survived through movements, tides that have undulated inside a world that has tried to keep our voices silent, hell-bent on erasing our stories, substituting our truths with a redaction. We are taking back our power, unleashing an unsettling force that reaches into the dreams of our ancestors to alchemize their words into our worlds because our words create our world. So what world are we creating? 
worlds that transfigure and transform words that become flesh and water waters of justice rolling down to the very flesh from which it was created words worlds and waters that are cyclical in nature a coming a going a return like the tides themselves but i must admit i desire for the waters of justice to do more than roll there are times where i desire for the waters to rage rush and roar the potency of raging the expediency of rushing the amplification of roaring yes in these times i believe our water should do more than roll because i hear the tides roaring in roaring in roaring in I hear the tides roaring in, roaring in, roaring in. There is a sound in everything we do, a sound that echoes long after we are through, a sound that transmutes the auditory into physical realms. The sound of today will be heard for generations to come. So what sound will they say that they know us from? Do our sounds resound messages of love and inclusion? Or do we try to profess an outdated illusion that we should go back to what we knew before instead of recognizing that this is the time for us demanding more? No longer settling for poverty, killing 700 people a day being twisted into a lie and saying that somehow a part of God's way. Instead, we are saying that it is a display of greed, oppression, and wickedness of the highest degree out here trying to break free of a world that decides life based upon familiarity, determining our longevity on how we appease their sensibilities, having to scream in the streets and remind them that our humanity represents God's divinity sacred and not scorned. We were born for a time such as this. So let us not dismiss this moment as if it has already been written because history does not write itself. We do. So let us create something anew, forging a path as the ancestors of the next generations, the ones who decided to rise with the tides because I feel the tides rushing in rushing in rushing in i feel the tides rushing in rushing in rushing in rushing in Roaring in, roaring in, I see the tides rolling in, rolling in, rolling in. A small boat on the ocean sending big waves in motion like how a single word can make a heart open I might only have one match but I can make an explosion and all those things I didn't say were wrecking balls inside my brain I will scream them loud tonight can you hear my voice this time? This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Prove I'm all right song. My power's turned on. Starting right now, I'll be strong. I'll play my fight song. And I don't really care if nobody else believes. Cause I've still got a lot of fight left in me. Losing friends and I'm chasing sleep Everybody's worried about me I'm in too deep I'm in too deep And it's been four years I miss my home And there's a fire burning in my bones I still believe I still believe All of those things I didn't say Were wrecking balls inside my brain I will scream them loud tonight 
you hear my voice this time this is our fight song take back our life song prove we're all right song our powers turned on starting right now we'll be strong we'll play our fight song and i don't really care if nobody else believes because i've still got a lot of fight left in me a lot of fire left in me Cause I've still got a lot of fire left in me Hey folks, my name is Laurel Ashton. I'm the National Organizing Director with the Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival. And right now I am sitting outside of the Polk County Board of Elections here in North Carolina, getting ready to cast my vote early. Already tens of millions of us have voted and we know that this election is critical. If we are going to get the Jubilee policy agenda of this campaign realized, an agenda that includes healthcare for all, housing for all, living wages, a strong social safety net, and a just response to this pandemic, then we have to change politics in this country. And if we're gonna do that, then we all need to vote. If you have not yet voted, head on over to poorpeoplescampaign.org backslash voting. There you can find ways to look up your voting location, whether that's early voting, election day, or whether you're looking for a drop box for your absentee and mail-in ballot. You can also sign up for election reminders so that you can um, get updates when election laws change in your state because we know laws are changing daily. You can get updates to um, let you know when in-person early voting has begun and so many other resources that will make this process easier for you. So head on over to www dot poor people's campaign dot org backslash voting and now i'm gonna put on this mask and go vote peace everybody i go by the name of walter wally b jennings spoken word artist based out of tampa florida and this poem is called my absentee ballot i'm a big history buff so i constantly ask myself stuff like would malcolm x cry watching the end of black panther if harriet tubman were alive today how hard would she slap kanye Jordan or LeBron? Spoiler alert, it's Jordan. Would the ancestors that fought for black suffrage feel like their efforts were for nothing? Is that why suffrage sounds like suffering? Like a painful task? Like people in distress? Poll taxes? Literacy tests? Reconstruction? Intimidation? Did disenfranchisement make us present the answer to our prayers? Not all victories are sweet. Some leave permanent scowls and fractured teeth that keep us close to the edge of delusion. So used to losing that we are unable to rationalize when we have crossed to the other side of the Red Sea. Hard to believe we finally got over. More than voters, we are the descendants of resilience, an extension of the 15th Amendment, spirit of Harry and Harriet Moore, more ballot than bullet. It would be foolish to forsake both. Years, decades, generations, hope, how can black lives matter if black votes don't? Maybe, maybe souls to the polls is more eulogy than epiphany. Good idea, but bad energy. Voting rights revoked if you have felonies. Interesting. Why would anyone take away something that wasn't valuable? Contain some measure of influence and power. The hour has come when we must acknowledge the baton that has been placed in our hands. Stand for the ones who sat. Run for those swung from the poplar trees, Miss Billy beautifully belted. Voting is like wearing a mask during COVID. It's as much for others as it is for you. The truth is that your selections may not get elected, but every form mailed in, every sticker received is the fulfillment of a dream no longer deferred. Don't wait until November 3rd. Set aside time and flood the lines with pride. Offer to give an elder a ride to the voting booth and use the right you have been left. It's debt was paid by blood stained on leaves and roots, proof that every vote counts, even when they try to rig the game. The struggle remains the same, so continue to analyze all the clues, because candidates don't actually win. It's the people that lose when we don't use our voice and vote. Come on, come on, come on, don't you want to vote? Come on, come on, come on, don't you want to vote? Come on, come on, come on, don't you want to vote? 
Ladies and gentlemen, a recording from Blue Notes Records. Wait a minute. Ha! <laughs> 
in the White House is a mortal, not a god. The members of the Congress, they are mortals, not God. Bowing down is not an option. We will stand up again, we will march again, we will preach again, we will organize again. We are black, we are white, we are Latino, we are Native American, we are Democrat, we are Republican, we are independent, we are people of faith, we are people not of faith. We are natives and immigrants, we are business leaders and workers and unemployed, we are doctors and the uninsured, we are gay, we are straight, we are students, we are parents, we are retirees. We are America! And we're here, and we ain't going nowhere.